In this video, you will learn how to add data bar in Microsoft Excel. Currently, you can see here I have added data bars in two tables. In this table, I have added data bars with solid field, while in this table, I have added data bars with gradient field. Secondly, you can see here I have added data bar in this table in the same column where the data is displayed, while in second table, you can see here I have displayed the data bars in a separate columns. So you can add data bars in the same column where the data is displayed or in separate columns. Secondly, you will also learn how to conditionally format these data bars. For example, how to change the fill of these data bars and how to insert a solid border around these data bars. Additionally, you will also learn how to remove these data bars. Apart from this, you can see here that here the negative value is displayed and other values are positive. So you can add data bars about positive values as well as negative values. These data bars are very dynamic. For example, if I change this value, then data bars will be automatically changed in Excel. For example, I will change it to 850 instead of 750. Press enter. Now you can see here the data bar is changed now. In this tutorial, you will learn how to add data bar, how to conditionally format these data bars and how to remove these data bars. So let's start this tutorial. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. Firstly, select the data. I want to add data bars in this column, so I will select this data. Now you can see here, I have selected this data. After selecting, go to style option, which is under home tab option. And here you will find the option of conditional formatting. Click here. And if I move downwards, here is the option of data bars. Under data bars, you will find two options. First one is the gradient fill and second one is the solid fill. If you want to add the data bars with gradient fill, you can use any of these options. And if you are interested, to insert the data bars with solid fill, then you can use any of these options. I am interested in green color, so I will select this option. Now you can see here data bars are inserted here. If you are interested to conditionally format these data bars, select any cell which contains the data and where you have already inserted the data bars. After that, go to Home tab and in Home tab, you will find the option of conditional formatting. Select here. And at the end, you will find the option of manage rules. Select this option. And here you will find the option of edit rule. Click on it. Now you can use this option to change the fill color and border color. For example, if I want to change this fill color to red, from here I will select red color. And from fill option, you can select either gradient fill or solid fill. Now I want to insert a solid border, so I will select solid and color is already selected which is the black. After doing that, simply click on OK. And here preview is available, where it indicates that the bar color will be red and a solid border of black color will be displayed around this bar. After doing that, simply click on OK. Again on OK. Now you can see here, the bar color is changed and a solid color of black color is inserted around these bars. Now, if you have negative values, then again select this one. Go to conditional formatting. Go to manage rules. And again, go to edit rule. From here, you will find the option of negative values and axis. Select this one and from here I will select fill color. I will select green color for negative values. Click on OK. Again on OK. And again on OK. Now I want to change this value. For example, I will change it to negative 350 instead of positive. Press enter. Now you can see here, the Excel has inserted the bar for negative value as well as positive values. Now how to remove these bars? 
If you want to remove these bars, simply select any cell which contains the data or where you inserted data bars. I will select this one. Now go to home and in style option, you will find the option of conditional formatting. Select this one and from here you will find the option of clear rules and I will select clear rules from entire sheet. Now you can see here the data bars are removed now. Now you will learn how to insert data bar in a separate column. Simply select this cell, put equal sign and select this cell, press enter. Now again select this cell and when this plus sign appear, drag it down according to your data. Now select this data. You can see here I have selected all this data. Go to home tab and follow similar procedure. Go to styles and conditional formatting. Go to data bar option and I will select gradient fill with yellow color. Now you can see here the data bars are displayed here. I want to change this value to positive one. I will change source cell. Press enter. Now I am interested to remove this data and I want to contain only these data bars. So again select any cell. Go to home tab and in home tab you will find the option of conditional formatting. Select this one and go to manage rule option. If this video is helpful for you then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. Under the manage rule option you will find the option of edit rule. I will select this edit rule option. Now you can see here a pop up window will be appeared like this one and here you will find different option. For example, I want to remove this data. So here there is an option of show bars only. I will select this one. And I have already explained how to conditionally format these bars. The options are available regarding the fill, colors, border, hand color. And preview is also available here. After doing that, simply click on OK. Again on OK. Now you can see here only bars are displayed here and the data is removed. So by following this video, you can easily insert data bars. You can also remove these data bars and you can conditionally format these data bars. So that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.